Preparation for a passage in the extreme cold must begin early, preferably before arrival at the port where the passage will start. I just heard from the agent that uh, the vessel is going to load next cargo at Horn Point in UK and going for discharge in Porvo in Finland. It requires pre-planning by the ship's head office as well as those on board. I've spoken to the agent there and he says it is sub-zero temperatures over there. Sub-zero temperatures affect everyone, bringing new risks, slowing down work and restricting the time people can stay outside. This needs to be allowed for in planning operations. Planning in advance needs to be done, which involves the formulation of checklist for the specific ship. Here, I think uh, the specific checklist need to be made rather than the general checklist. I mean, the ship as a whole is going to be affected by the cold weather and it's not possible for one or two persons to look after everything. So the, the idea of specific checklist is basically the delegation of responsibility to the people at the lower level, to the junior officers, to the junior engineers, to, to the bosun, to pump men, to cadet. We got to operate the ship in the same operating uh, efficiency as we have been doing so far. I think if we follow the proper cold weather working procedures... Each department needs to hold a meeting to assess the risks of very low temperatures on their equipment and working practices. The tasks need to be defined and a proper hazard analysis carried out. I would like a checklist to be formed for the operations on the deck. Additional controls and measures will need to be taken to minimize the risk of injury. I would like you to give me Having the meeting early ensures that supplies can be taken on board before departure. If we actually refer to the, op, uh, the manufacturer's manuals regarding our uh, cargo, cargo pumps, it's... The starting point for this risk assessment will be the cold weather procedures set out in the company and ship manuals. Second will be the equipment manufacturer's handbooks. Third will be other material such as this video and its study guide. A checklist which people need to follow generally. Last so but not least will be the expertise of officers and crew with previous experience of sub-zero conditions. They will have a large part to play in deciding what needs to be done. We should keep the bypass valve open uh, on deck during uh, the nights and sub-zero temperatures. In other words, the there are many questions that should be asked. How does cold affect this risk? Are there further precautions that we need to take? Has anything changed on the ship since the manual was introduced? Do we expect temperatures lower than that described in the documentation? We need to have a very good uh, attention to the safety equipment. Yeah, all the fire hydrants uh, on deck and around accommodation is uh, kept open and water has been drained off. The management team must produce a checklist of all the relevant steps for each task. This will incorporate all the printed information, the seafarers' experience, their knowledge of the ship, and local conditions. For the ships which are operating in eastern Canadian regions during winter months, temperature variation can be a problem because of the fronts moving at a very high speed. The temperature can drop from 0 degrees to minus 20 degrees in a couple of hours. That is why it is advisable for the ships to come, which are coming into this region to take their winter precautions much in advance before they come into this area.